हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज एम पी सो दिस इज अवर टेंथ पार्ट इन अवर वी बी स्क्रिप्ट सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी गन लर्न अबाउट द सब प्रोसीजर्स एंड फंक्शन एंड वट इज़ द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम और लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो गाइज लेट्स क्रिएट ए सब प्रोसीजर फर्स्ट सो टू क्रिएट ए सब प्रोसीजर वी विल यूज ए की बर्ड सब एंड देन अवर सब प्रोसीजर नेम विच इज लाइक आई एम for now i am taking print print message and then we have to uh close the parentheses and then we will write just uh, we are just displaying a message mp expert okay and then at the end we just end it with the same sub so this is our sub procedure so you can make a piece of code like a function but what is the difference between function and sub procedure so sub procedure is not returning a value but in function function can return a value so that is the very basic difference between the sub procedures so how we can call it let's write a keyword call and then print message save it and then run it so it will displays the message and we can also pass the parameters to our sub so let's see how we can do that so here we am passing just a any variable like my well and what we gonna do we gonna put that here the value we are just uh, popping up the value for the parameter so let's call it it's giving error because we didn't pass any argument over here so once we pass the argument suppose that if i have to pass 8 then it will pop up 8 we can also pass any value that is not a data specific save it and run it so it is working like the same so you can also pass the parameters now let's move on the function how the function will look like so instead of let's make it a simple case so instead of sub we will give a function keyword and then we will say end function and uh, here we were saying mp expert and we were calling the similarly functions okay let's so it is uh behaving like the same and let's pass the parameter similarly how we did that in the sub procedure before so pass here my value my value and then run it it will behave the same so guys here i am going to show you a basic difference so right now i created one function and one sub procedure by looking at it the only difference is the keyword which is sub sub and this is the function and if you run it it will do the same thing one it's a, we are popping up the message mp expert function and other one is mp expert sub so what i am going to do i am going to make a function in which uh, it will return a value and we can make reuse it, reuse it but in sub uh, we can't return a value let me show it 
okay guys so let's uh, disable this for now and uh, what we can do here <coughs> we can pass the argument suppose that if I'm passing number one and number two okay so what we have to do here we are taking a variable sum equals to number one plus number two and then at the end we will say hello one function is equals to sum so the sum value will be returned from this hello one functions so this is the syntax how we returning a value in some language we are using return return keyword and then we will put the value what we have to do but here it is nothing like that so we are returning the value like this so here now instead of calling it because hello one is not doing anything it is just uh, doing some processing and it is returning the value so we have to store the value somewhere so let's call a variable um, well one equals to hello one then we have to pass the numbers parameters so you can use it as many as time you want so this is called reusability so we can reuse the function again and again but in the in the sub procedure you can do that you can you can reuse the procedure but then you have to fix the context which you have to execute under the procedure so let's run this and see and here what we have to do we have to put the values in the well one and I'm just making it a little nicer to look okay guys so how I did here I'm just putting the well one and then I am storing the I mean displaying the value one then I am giving line break which is VB new line and then I'm concatenate with the value two and then I'm just putting the text value to and then passing the value to variable and similarly i am also doing so the value 3 so now save it and run it so as you can see the it is this function is um, is combining or making the sum of these two numbers so it is 10 and then 9 and then 8 so which is correct so this is how we can reuse the function again and again with the return of the value so similarly this is a very uh, small use of it i have shown you but when you uh, work with the database so when we make we just make a one database function which return the values and then those values we reuse a lot so there it is very useful and uh, when you have like make a function for some for some like um, your button controls and all that how to so you can pass the properties and values through the parameterization and then that variable will or object will return back to you so this is how it is very useful
but subroutines you can also use if you don't need a return value then you can use a subroutine so that is the only only difference between sub procedure and uh, functions okay guys there is a another concept which is called by value and by reference so let me clean it up for now by reference and by value so so in this concept let me demonstrate it so that you can have a better understanding so guys here i uh, taking a variable which is name and here i'm putting like mp expert and i made a sub procedure and which is called hello so this will take a argument and here we will call our sub procedure hello and here we will pass it like uh, what do you call it so guys here i'm having a name which is mp expert and then i made a sub procedure and i gave a argument like name and then in that argument i am putting mp is not expert and here i am passing a message box name So let's execute it is called mp expert okay and uh, now here execute the word sub procedure which is hello and see what happened okay it is giving syntax error but what is the syntax error says sub we don't have to say sub wrong number of arguments or okay because we have to pass any argument okay all right let's pass name mp is not expert so it is taking by reference so what is happening if i take if i put this keyword y value then what it will do let's execute it will say mp expert so why it is saying mp expert so it is only taking the value it is only taking the value note the whole reference so it is taking the value when i when i call it by value it is it is going from name and then it is taking the value and coming back and then it has the value of the name so it 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 don't know about anything like name it is going into the root and extracting that value and coming back and then here i am executing so that's how it is giving me the or displaying the mp expert so once again it is saying mp expert but if we change here by reference keyword then save it and see what it will do it will execute the this value so why it is executing because it is not taking by value it is taking as an reference so it is taking reference as a name and here we are changing the name so that's why it is giving that uh, uh, mp is not expert so guys this is the basic difference between by reference and by value um it is useful not a lot we are using in our testing but it is very useful good to know what is the by value and what is by reference 
and uh, sometimes like uh, you know when we have to declare the variable outside the functions and the, the variables having different scope so that's also a another video we will make where we will define the scope of the functions but for now i think uh, we already made the video too long so this is pretty much it is guys for the by reference and by value how it is working and it is working both it is working for both same like for the functions and for the sub procedures so that's it all right guys i hope you like the video it will give you so so much information and stay tuned i'll come back with another video thank you